Hey, welcome. Well, good afternoon, Mr. Tim Combs. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, man. Hey, Sherry here with The Power of Purpose. I have some incredible news that we want to share with you. And before we get started, Mr. Tim Combs, give us a little bit of your history. Tell us a little bit about you and your background and where you're from, and then we'll get into the incredible news we want to share with everyone. Okay. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I'm Tim Combs. I'm from uh, live in Waterloo, Cedar Falls, Iowa, and I've uh, been a contractor for, oh, I think going on about 30 years here in the business of construction work and uh, residential, light commercial work. Um, have a wife and a, and a daughter that will be graduating here this year. So that's that's crazy in itself. But uh, uh, been doing been doing my own business, had my own business now for 17 years, uh, self-employed. Uh, been doing good with that, trying to do, do the best I can do with helping others in that business, uh, between building houses, doing concrete work and stuff. And, uh, and then here, uh, a year ago, a friend of mine and I, we kind of got together um, talking about uh, the real estate business. We kind of started in 13. We put together a little real estate company and buying and fixing and flipping houses and decided we wanted to do something a little more with that as far as trying to help uh, help our veterans out that, uh, that need help. And last spring, about this time, I started doing some serious soul searching and and it came it came to play through the Lord and whatever else it was the powers be above told me that that's what I need to look to do and and uh, set up a way to do this uh, to help others and it kind of it's crazy how it all fell together the next thing I knew I had a power of purpose uh, webinar email from somewhere I have no idea <laughs> and that came up how things yeah. happen when you start living your purpose, Tim. Yeah, and got got connected with the uh, um, with the group and and got to work with Ryan and and uh, I'm trying to remember the first guy. I think it was is it Brad or Brandon. Brandon. So met with him, had some good conversations with him on the phone, and uh, and then uh, next thing I know, we we. We applied for for getting assistance through the Power of Purpose to get our nonprofit started and uh, get rolling with that. And we started that process in March or April, and by the end of August, we had our 501c3 established with the IRS. Um, that was an amazing feat right there in itself. Was from filling out the application to a four-week turnaround, had it had it back from the government and ready to go, and then and then uh, kind of finished up the year with trying to get our heads back on straight after that and seeing where we need to go from there and putting together uh, trying to put together a fundraiser since December here, which is coming up next weekend in uh, Waterloo. And it'll be our first event and. Uh, Trying to so we can raise awareness of who we are in the community and and raise funds to to help our veterans that have returned home with major disabilities so we can start uh, making their lives easier by modifying their houses and and or building new homes for them and uh, so they can live an easier life for for the stuff you know for them for what they had to go through to keep us free and and let us do what we need to do so Tim yeah. I'll never forget our first conversation when you said when you and I first met and you said I got this email I have no idea where it came from but I knew that my daughter is turning 18 to graduating it's time for me to step up and take action and make a difference bigger difference and what's it been like now on the journey Tim from that first conversation where we came together and said the Power Purpose team now that you've been through the mentoring application we see the passion the purpose-driven life you have what's it been like for you now 
to live on purpose and see these kind of coincidences that we know aren't coincidences happening. Tell us about the beginning of working with the Power of Purpose, what step by step, setting up your nonprofit. Tell folks about your nonprofit, your mission, um, the name of it, and all that. Okay. Um, yeah, with the beginning, uh, it was, you know, my first connections with the Power of Purpose, it was like how, you know, I have no idea what this is about and how to put anything together. And, and uh, once I got talking with Ryan and Ryan started uh, giving us the direction of what we need to do and looking on the website um, through the training, training programs that you have on your website um, helped us out greatly with getting that started. And uh, Ryan's explanations of where to go next, how to do the next phase, the next step, it, it followed through pretty good, really good. So, I mean, it was pretty self-explanatory, went, went well with us, I guess. Um, but you started getting that, I guess, after getting the feeling of doing what I need to do and, and having the Lord help me, point me in that direction and make this work, that's where... Uh, it's just incredible how how the blocks will just fall into place. As you, you, I get to points where I'm struggling with how am I going to how am I going to go from this phase to this phase? And I thought all the paperwork and everything was going to be the hardest part of this whole ordeal to get set up and and to actually claim that I'm a nonprofit organization and our organization is Americans for Independent Living. And that that took me probably a day to figure out how to what the name to, to come up with which we started out with a, a one other word in there a little different but uh, we changed it but um, pretty much stuck is what what we wanted to do and from there uh, from there it's just been uh, once the 501 c3 came through like I said that that happened so quick it, it, it was meant to be apparently there's there's no other way around it because uh, by by your group and by everybody else I've talked to, that nobody gets a 501c3 in that that time frame, that short a time frame. So that was incredible, just just mind blowing at that point. And now uh, and now since then, uh, making our connections, you know, we've connected with local state representatives here, and they've they've been able to help us with giving us more connections to talk with and people who to meet and what to do and 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 then through the training of your guys' classes is is it's all about all about connecting what Sherry puts out all the time. Connect, connect. So, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And, and it works. It, it, you have to do it. It works. It's something that you know, if you're not good at it or it doesn't matter what it is, and I'm not that good. I've always been just an individual that I do my own thing. I don't I don't ask a lot for questions from people and how to do stuff. I'll figure it out myself and, and I'll make it happen and, and that's what it ends up being. But to do this, you got to have people to work with and, and set up your connections. Well, and that's Jim, got what, me to this point. One of the things that we just share, have such pride in is watching you connect and taking the mentoring and just moving forward with it. And at that first board meeting I had with you, when I got, had the honor of meeting the group you had pulled together, your board of directors, and, and Tim, when you say you don't ask for a lot, now being on this journey, on this path of living your purpose and making an impact and leaving that legacy, have you found that people now have gathered around you and have come from out of nowhere? to be supportive of what you're doing with your nonprofit? Yes, we have. We That we have in, in just talking to individuals um, and other business owners in the area and, and uh, through anybody, through the social media, um, the people that have come out and said that's just, that's an, you know, unreal cause. You, you stood up and are doing this, you know, to help other individuals like that, and especially especially what we want to do for, for the veterans that have returned home, and, and I'm not a veteran, and my partner involved in this, he's not either. So neither one of us are, and you know we have no ties that direction other than some family members that have been through the military. But 
it's just it's a calling. It's something I want to do to to give back to those individuals that put their life on the line, and and uh, I think it's just the coolest thing ever to help somebody like that. So I can do my part, and the few and several of them that I've met here over the last few months, especially at this last huge ordeal that I just went through. I met three Green Berets that were just, I mean, they're they're unbelievable what they went through. Um, through in Afghanistan, the Shock Valley, if you've heard of the Shock Valley um, incident that 15 guys go into this valley and weren't supposed to make it out pretty much. They ended up encountering like over 200 insurgents that hit them from there in the bottom of the valley and these guys were all on the mountainsides shooting down at them and by by law they shouldn't have made it out or whatever, there, there's no way that they should have been alive but they ended up wiping out pretty much the whole troop, 15 guys. So I got to speak with them that one night and and uh, give them our brochure, tell them who we are and what we're about. And these guys just they praised me for what I'm doing uh, and not being a military individual. So I said it's nothing about me. It's it's what we can do for you for what they've done. So well, it's cool. It's everybody's behind me every time we talk to somebody. We're, we're yeah. there. That's awesome. So amazing is that you know we were connected for a reason. We went through things together and you went through you took action every step of the way, set up a nonprofit, built that program summary, started connecting. You've done everything and with your heart and your business skills, Tim taken what you've done throughout your whole work experience and now taking it to make a difference. And the people that have gravitated around you to be on this journey with you has been incredible for us. So the announcement, Tim, to share with everyone, you've had quite a few successes. One of them I know right now, you are work charitable giving of real estate. I hear every week on the inner circle, the things you're doing with donors, the things you have going on charitable giving of real estate. But I also know about a $5,000 check you would just get granted. Tell us a little bit about that because again, you followed the steps, you built a solid foundation, you've got people around you, you believe you're persistent, Tim, and now you've connected. What happened next with that check? Yeah, um, that one there was through last, last fall, starting through, um, filling out grant applications um, like you guys have, have pushed out um, to us about you know community foundation groups and and uh, local organizations uh, foundations that, that give grant money and, and try to get connected with them and fill out their paperwork and go through that and we did like uh, seven I think seven or eight of them there uh, last summer at the end of last summer and last fall and here in January, uh, we got announced uh, an announcement back from the Community Foundation of Northeast Iowa that uh, they invited us to an award ceremony, award ceremony at the end of the month, and uh, presented us with a $5,000 check. So that was that was that was cool, right there. Started the momentum here for 2016, and uh, you know we can. Basically, it's it's for operating expenses, what they claim in it. So that's a good deal. We need that to to keep things rolling here. So um, yeah, and then I don't know if you want me to roll into the next. Yeah, next thing. I can't wait because we know the charitable giving of real estate. We could go all day on that, but this is the big announcement, Tim. And the advice I gave Tim was, hang on, this is just the beginning. So as you built this now and you truly are doing it to make a difference, the blessings, the financials, incentives now that are coming to you to keep growing it, what just happened this week to where you went out and connected and as a result, rum roll? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'll start with the beginning of this whole ordeal, which was just kind of crazy, but um, um, the Trump Trump organization um, was putting on a, you know, he was not going to do the debate with the Fox News there last, last week. Um, 
and uh, just in spite of doing that, he decided to do a fundraising event for veterans in Des Moines, Iowa. So um, my wife happened to send me an email Wednesday afternoon um, before the day before the event was going to take place in Des Moines, and she said, "You ought to contact his campaign manager." see if you'd be able to go down and be a part of that event that night. And I thought, well, that's crazy. That never happened. <laughs> so I thought, hey, why not? What the heck? Let's give it a shot and see what we can do. So I ended up finding his email, and I wrote this guy, Chuck, Chuck Launder. I wrote him a uh, nice little email explaining who we are and what we're about and asked if there was any way I could participate in Trump's event Thursday night to raise funds for the veterans. So uh, Thursday afternoon, I finally got an email back from this individual that said, call me and let's see what we can work out about getting you into the event tonight. And I was like, right there was just enough to set me off the wall. So that was cool. Um, of course, I couldn't connect with him all day long. Called him and called him and called him. But go to the event, <clears throat> standing outside for about three hours in line, um, our temperature is about 30 degrees, and having a, you know, I'm about had enough of standing outside. I'm starting to get pretty cold, so I'm like, okay, um, something's got to happen here. I'm going to go home. I'm done, and, and I waited about, I said, no, about five more minutes. Give me five minutes. Sure enough, just like that, my phone rang, and uh, it was this guy from from uh, the campaign manager. Hang on just a second, my My computer is going to die here if I don't get me plugged in. I've got to find where the cord went. My partner. Hey, Larry, you said today, Jim, it's going to be the best ever because Murphy has been with us so much today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's still hitting. Hang on just a second. Hang on. Well, you guys, while. Well, well, Tim, will we go to the commercial for technical difficulties, right? It's been such an honor and a privilege to work with Tim, to have him take our mentoring step by step and take action step of the way and take his wisdom to now bring tremendous impact to this community. And I can't tell you, Tim, I, what it means to the power of purpose in our team. We have many young veterans working with us on our team leading. And when they talk and we gather together and we talk about 22 suicides a day for veterans, we talk yeah. about the tremendous stress going on, the lack of services, and the, the, just the pride, Tim, they have in, in you and parking people to take action, go out and live that, that social significance. There's no amount of money that can fulfill you like what you're doing now, Tim. The money's coming too. So how cool yeah. is that? The money, the legacy, the social yeah. significance, and everything. That's pretty cool. That's so pretty cool. I, I took a commercial break, so now yeah. you're <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about that. So, um, so let's see. My phone rings. So I get this. I get the call from that manager, and says he's going to send somebody out to get me in and, and get me inside and right up with the event and get going. And I'm like, that was just. I mean, I was standing in a line of probably six blocks long, uh, six feet wide of people. Wow. It was just there was thousands of people at this thing and, I, and here I am and now I get pulled out of the line and get taken inside right up front and he takes me right down to the second row right off the stage uh, sitting with all the veterans that got first choice to come in and that, that alone right there would just you know that was that was enough to overwhelm anybody you know at this this point so I, I mean we were sitting with individuals from the you know the World War II all the way up here and uh, and it was neat just to just to feel that that vibe that's in the air or whatever with the whole thing. And then anyway, uh, Trump comes out, does his speech, and um, they go through all that. Ends up telling that telling us that he's raised within 24 hours about six million dollars for veterans, and uh, 
they've already picked out like 22 organizations to give this money out to. And I'm like, please let me get a chance to talk to him, please, you know. So the, the, the event gets over and he comes down in front of the stage right off, right in front of me. Um, I end up getting two rows of vets just swarm in front of me and, and they shake his hand and away they go and I thought that's that's cool, that's fine. So I move around to the end of the end of the bleachers or the end of the chairs where I was at and I ended up getting to meet with the three uh, Green Berets that were there with, with Trump and I got to introduce myself to them and, who, and tell them about my organization, handed them some flyers, uh, some brochures that, that I have. I actually got them all to sign my brochure too so I have that now I can post on the wall. Okay. And uh, and then I did get to meet um, Don Jr. Trump, so his boy. I got to give him a brochure, and I said, if there's any way possible you could get that to your dad, I'd appreciate it very much. And John Wayne Walding is one of the Green Berets him, himself. Him and I had a nice little conversation, and I said, since you're kind of friends with Mr. Trump, would you be able to get him a brochure for me? And, and he says, for, you know, and he comes back to me, and he's like, for what you're doing for us, you bet. I think I can run into him and hand him that for you. So you keep up the good work. He said you're doing doing a heck of a deal for for the veterans of the country. And I thought that was just that was awesome to hear that from him. So so he takes that and the night's over. I'm wound up. I drive back home. That's a two hour two and a half hour drive back home from the Des Moines. So uh, Friday comes along. Nothing happens till the end of the afternoon, about five o'clock. I get a call from Chuck, the Iowa campaign manager, and he says, "Hey, I got a couple questions for you." And he says, "You know, I hope you enjoyed the night getting in." And I said, "Just thank you, thank you. You know, I couldn't thank him enough for getting me into that." And then he's like, um, "I think this is. I think you're true. You know, I think you're what you say you're doing, and that you're you're a nonprofit organization." And I said, "Yeah, I am." And he says, "So when did you get that?" In? that go through or you got your IRS papers. I said, yeah. And he's like, well, I thought so. He said, okay, so I got a phone call from Mr. Trump inviting you to his event on Monday. So I'm supposed to arrange that with you. And he said, do you think you could make it Monday? And I'm going, boy. <laughs> well, let me check my <laughs> <laughs> So No, I was like, you got to be kidding me. And he's like, no, I'm serious. He says, I had nothing to do with it. It was strictly Mr. Trump called me to set it up with you and I'm like you better I'll, I'll be anywhere he wants you tell me where and what and he says and then he wants to present you with a check on stage and I'm like that'd be that would be unreal so the whole weekend all I could think about was that and wondering what was going to happen and how this was going to turn out and I thought well I you know everybody's like what do you think he'll give you a million dollars I'm going well I don't think so you know, I'd be if I could get five thousand dollars from him I'd be just tickled to death you know it wouldn't matter if he didn't give me any money, it wouldn't matter. Just to meet him and go through that part of it. For him to announce and recognize my organization and and being new, especially in the community here with that, would be just unbelievable. But sure enough, we got to meet him, got to talk to him. He signed a check right in front of us for $100,000 and granted it to us on stage in front of everybody. And then I got to speak a little bit to tell tell the audience and the cameras who what my organization is about and what we do and who we are so that's this has been just a wild week amazing Tim it's been so exciting for us to be a part of that journey and and, and Tim we were texting back and forth during the weekend and the by the the really deep advice I gave Tim was nope. this is just the beginning so hang on yeah. <laughs> being in front of all those people, that all those connections now you have to talk about Americans for Independent Living and what you're doing and what your mission's about, the journey is just beginning, Tim. The impact you're creating using this platform right now to spark people into action to take that step to make a difference, to bring solutions back to this country that are common sense, that empower people, that create jobs. Tim, that's what you're doing. We're so proud to be a part of this journey.
to be a Thank part you. of planting that seed, to be brought together. I mean, yeah. every time you flew out to Albuquerque, and we did Purpose Pioneers with Derek and, and said we're trailblazing the path of social enterprise. I just Thank can't you. acknowledge you enough, Tim. And I want you to give everyone your website, how they can contact you, because we're going to keep waving the banner right with you to make sure that we can bring the funds in, that we can bring the resources to you so that you can grow this the way it needs to grow, to serve, to empower, to support our veterans that are fought for our freedom. Thank you very much. I appreciate that very, very much. So, yeah, the our organization is Americans for Independent Living. Dot org is the website. Um, Facebook page, Americans for Independent Living. We have an event page there also that you can go to um, to uh, donate. Um, buy a ticket for $25 for our event, if nothing else, and, and help us raise some funds for for our veterans, uh, whether they're here locally or across the nation, because we're, it's, that's where we're going to head next is get get some things rolling here, and we'll just keep moving from state to state as we can. So we want to uh, we want to set up a you know a whole rehab center and be able to get families and and the individuals to be in one location to get their treatment, get get everything taken care of, you know, as a family sense together, and and then be able to move out there and on their own and and live life like the rest of us. So that's, they deserve that. In any way possible, we can make that happen. So thank you for your help. Appreciate it very much. Oh, Tim. What would be your biggest advice to others that are watching this right now for that next step? Um, I guess don't hold back. Um, you start, it's like I've done the same thing here in the last, like November, December, it was like I'm not sure what, what to do, where to go, uh, who do I talk to, and, and how do I make things move. Like I said, I thought the, I thought the paperwork was the hardest part of the, the whole ordeal. Well, that's, that's the easiest, actually that's the easiest side of it. So, so now we're at the phase of where we need, we need the clients, we need the veterans to step forward. And for us in this, type of situation, you can't get names, you can't get numbers, you can't get anything from anybody. And it seems like they have no way of tracking or knowing who, who's been injured and who's, who's a civilian now and, and who's not. And that's my hardest, hardest thing. And it was like, I, I, now I'm stuck. I don't know where to go. But it's go out there and knock on the doors and make the phone calls and if you think they can help you in any way, do it. If you think they won't, give it a shot and see what happens. I've been turned down from so many here now lately, um, just in the fundraising side of it, that they you know, we just don't do that part of thing, that type of thing, and whatever. You're too new. You're not, you know, I have nothing established yet, and that's that's a hard thing to get rolling with. But stick in there and, and make it happen. I mean, that's what we have to do. That's like this deal with Trump. It was like my wife says, make a call, and... I thought that'd be there'd be no chance in you know what to get into that deal, but it paid off. It paid off well. So we'll be able to definitely do a house here real soon now and get something rolling. So that's cool. It is so I can't wait to see where this journey goes from here, Tim. And I just wanna acknowledge you for stepping up, contacting the power purpose together coming together and taking action every step of the way, Tim. You, kudos to you and, like I said, just the beginning. And we're honored and privileged to be a part of this too. And so we'll have to give him a stay tuned um, and yeah. see what's coming next. Yeah. I'm so, Tim, it's awesome. I'm so excited for you. The whole Power Purpose team has been buzzing. Um, just the joy we have and the impact you're making right now to tell people to take action. It's time for us to step up and no longer complain about how things aren't working 
we're the ones that can change it. And Tim, you yeah. are the shining example of what happens when you step up and take action. And it's fun. Is it fun, yeah. Tim? It's been it's it's a good time. I I don't have any complaints on any of it so far by any means. So it's just it's a whole it's a whole new experience even from being a business owner and trying to you know trying to trying to get your own business to grow and do everything and and you know the construct I'm construction I I mean I I'm a nobody from from day one basically and I just build my path and and follow it and away I go and but to do this to do this deal is just it's been a good it's fun I I do not regret starting it and trying it and see where it's at because it's been it's been a heck of a journey so far and I want to see this thing go huge you know to nationwide organization so I'd love to have various chapters across the country if I can do that so Oh, it's just the beginning, Tim. That's why I'm telling them, but stay tuned. And we'll be <laughs> sharing real soon now with the charitable giving of real estate, other things that are happening. But I yeah. wanted you to share today what happened when you followed the system, when you connected and you got presented a 100,000 check by Mr. Donald Trump to serve our veterans. Yes. Powerful. Powerful. Very powerful. Well, it's been a fun journey, Tim, and I've done it for 30-some years and had a blast the whole time. So to get to share it with you, now, this is, we're gonna, it's so much fun together. Yep. I'm enjoying so, it, too. So thank you. Oh, Thanks again. So the rest of you guys, go visit his website. Go to americansforindependentliving.org. Tim's got a fundraiser going on. He's got all kinds of activity, a Facebook page. There's a lot going on. He's got charitable giving of real estate. Go visit his website. Support him. And let's build your solid foundation where you are and replicate it throughout the country to change the face of what's happening with our veterans, to empower veterans to take the lead and rebuild this country. So, Tim, thank you so much. Thanks for taking this time with us. Thanks for sharing with everyone to spark them and ignite them. Time to step up and take action. And look at the fun you can have along the way. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> I got to meet Mr. Trump. So, and, his, uh, and his wife and beautiful daughter, both of them are gorgeous ladies. So that was just, that was cool. <laughs> so. And Tim. You know what? You're really cool too. I mean, it's been well, a cool thank you. journey thank with you. you. You know, you say you're nobody. We're uh, all, we're all such a gift. We all have so much to give, and it can come from just us common folk. And yep. look what happens when you follow your heart, when you follow where you're led, when you spiritually follow and and let go of fear and never give up. Look what's happening now. That's been yeah. my motto. Let go of fear, never give up. Never give up. I yep. agree. Yep. I agree. Very good. So thank Very you, good. Tim. And we'll share more with him as time goes on. So have fun at your fundraiser, and we'll be seeing you really soon. Okay. Thanks, okay. Gary. See ya. Bye-bye.